Intertwining of melodious music and soothing words made the night of tribute to the visionary leader Uchenna Gregory Mwokedi, son. One to remember, family, friends and loved ones of the departed leader gathered to bid him farewell. Music, dance and drama performances merge seamlessly on the night of tribute to the visionary leader, beacon of hope and talented creative, Uchena Gregory Wokedi, senior advocate of Nigeria. As friends, family and high-profile personalities gather to express their gratitude and love, giving him a fitting farewell. The evening unfolds with an enchanting array of musical performances that fill the atmosphere with soul-stirring and harmonious melodies. Uche's contributions to national development were profound. He was a member of the Ministerial Committee of Legal Experts, which reviewed Nigerians' mineral legislation and served on the Oil and Gas Sector Reform Implementation Committee. After his brother Olisa read the profile, Chuba Wokedi, the first son of the departed, took the lead as he took to the podium to express their love for an iconic figure, recounting their cherished memories and reflecting on his profound impact on their lives and characters. And these are conversations Dad and I had many a times, especially near the end. Life is a precious gift. It is not a gift any of us can hold on to forever. We are not meant to. However, while we do have that gift, it is up to us to use it to the best of our ability, whatever it is, no matter what we want to do, no matter how simple it is. He would also caution to be pragmatic and realistic about what you want to do with life. Uche was also instrumental to the establishment of special program for the needy in our hometown. Uche was broad-minded, he was a giver, he was kind. I saw Uche evolve from the young man he was to a loving and dedicated husband of my sister for 35 years. They were so close. He was his constant and closest companion. As the ceremony progresses, the audience is swept away by intriguing and riveting musical drama performances with captivating movements from his musical Kakadu and emotive delivery by award-winning actor Wali Ojo and a passage taken from Uche Wokadi's book, A Shred of Fear. My older sisters, Chinelo and Obi, uh, Thelma and Phyllis, to their friends in school, discussed it with great excitement, and my mother made their costumes for the plays. It was always a family affair, especially when they rehearsed their roles at home. I was too young to be directly involved. The chief of staff to the president of Nigeria, Femi Bajabi Amila, who was a friend of the deceased, shared his testimony. Yet no matter how often we mourn, it never gets easier. 
We never get used to the shock and the pain of hearing that a person we love is no more. This is especially so when the person is a man like Uche Mwokedi, whose brilliance and charm seemed endless, whose personality and character seemed like they would last for the ages, come what may. More musical performances ensue, tugging at heartstrings and pulling the congregation into a deep-seated mood as the only daughter of the deceased, Adiba Nwokiri, performed. After all boys of St. Gregory's College sang the school anthem in salute of a dear brother and friend, a brief prayer rounds up the beautiful ceremony and sends the final funeral rites into full swing. We pray that the Lord will grant him remission of his sins, a merciful judgment, and admit him into his paradise. Grand procession bearing the deceased dances into the church premises led by a band to begin the requiem mass as the body of the late Sa Uchena Gregory Wokedi was wheeled in. The hymn recitation begins the solemn service and the congregation, led by the choir, rise to their feet, singing their hearts out in unison. A reading from a Bible passage uplifts the hearts of the congregation, sending them encouragement during these trying times. Those who trust in Him will understand truth and the faithful will abide with him in love because grace and mercy are upon his elect. The uplifting sermon by the officiating minister on the journey of life buttresses the message from the Bible reading, imploring the congregation to look to the past with thanksgiving to God, to the present in prayer and praise, and the future in hope of greater things. So we are here to honor this man, to pay him homage, because he wanted us to be brothers in arms, as in holding ourselves with a reed of peace, and not weapons of war, brothers in arms. So my brothers, when we say, when Nietzsche said he wanted to go home, the readings of today tell us clearly what he meant by that. He's led a virtuous life. The first reading says, what awaits him is reward and grace. Boy, The concluding rites are performed as prayers for the soul of the deceased and his family and see from the ministers. Lord, save your people. By your coming as man, by your birth, by your baptism and fasting, 
by your suffering on the cross, by your death and burial, by your rising to new life, The procession retreats along with the family of the deceased bearing his remains and a large portrait of him as hymns and instrumentals usher them to the final resting place for his earthly body, drawing the curtains on the ceremony. Uchena Gregory Wokiri, senior advocate of Nigeria, KSS, was born on May 1, 1960 in Joss Plateau State, Nigeria, to Honorable Justice P. K. Wokedi, JSC Retired, C.O.N. and Martha Nneka Wokedi. He attended St. Gregory's College in Lagos, Mayfield College in East Sussex, London, and the University of Lagos, where he graduated in 1983 with a law degree, followed by his call to the Nigerian Bar in 1984. He began his legal journey as a legal officer at Ashland Oil Company, Nigeria in 1984. From 1986 to 1990, he served as senior counsel at Chief Rotemi Williams Chambers. In 1990, Uche founded Uche Wokedi & Co. As a principal counsel, he led the firm with distinction, providing top-tier legal services and mentoring young lawyers. His relentless commitment to justice and his exceptional legal mind earned him the prestigious rank of Senior Advocate of Nigeria in 2007. May his soul continue to rest in the comfort of God's presence.